What's up guys? Seek Shadowblade and I'm back with some more Disgaea 5. We're gonna be showing you how to get that trophy 10 billion damage. Alright, it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple things you're gonna have to do before you can even you know get this trophy. Mind you, 10 billion damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So what we're gonna be doing, oh, essentially what you're gonna need is a sage. I did this trophy when I had 15 million um, intelligence. You can maybe even do it even if you have 10 million, you know, maybe as low as 10 million. You should maybe still be able to do it this, this way that I'm gonna be showing you. So the abilities that you're gonna need it's going to be Bullion, Magic Bundle, Bushido, Purgatory, Over Limit, Star Blessing. It's not really necessary, but a little extra 10% doesn't hurt. Violence, Mana Scarcity. I'm going to be telling you where to get these in the description, so make sure to check that out. Alright, what you're going to need is three angels. You're gonna need three angels. You're gonna need crystal. You're gonna need a Euselia just for the extra stat boost and for the ability that she gives, which is the precious people increases attack by adjacent ally units. You're definitely gonna need that. You're gonna need a professor with a plus nine in magic boost and these guys here you you don't really need them but you know just for extra damage because when they're on the field they decrease stats of enemy units by five percent though they're not necessary for the way that i'm going to be showing you it's just extra damage eh, like big numbers that's pretty fine also you're going to need to put everybody in the foot soldier squad you're gonna need to put a lot of people in here. You're gonna just fill it up because it boots stats of members by members times 1%. So that means you get an extra 20% stat increase, which more damage. So I did a I did some research on YouTube when I was trying to figure out how to do it, and a lot of people uh, were given a really long, um, really difficult way to do it. But um, I looked at some forums and somebody said, try it out this way. And this is what I'm going to be showing you. They did it in text form, but I'm making a video so you can see visually how it works. So what you're also going to need is you're going to need to go to the recruiter and make a green slime. It's going to be this guy right here. You're going to need him. Now this is important. The name doesn't matter. You're going to need to make them good for nothing. So you're actually going to be decreasing the stats of the guy you're recruiting. Make the resistance 1. Make them level 1. You're good to go. Now, what you're also going to need is an ability called Beetle Size. And you get it from Asagi, which would be this person. Just level up the class proficiency and you get an ability known as Beetle Size. Now what Beetle Size does is evade attacks at the rate of 75% but damage taken will be 10. Now by the way it looks, you'll think, oh that's a good ability. You know, you get 75% evasion rate and you only take 10 damage? No. This is a miss, 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 uh, this is not correct. <laughs> Fuck. The, the word just flew out of my head. But what this means is they'll be taking 10% more damage. Not 10%, 10 times more damage. Which, damn. Which makes sense. I mean, you're a small beetle. Yeah, you're going to be hard to hit. But when you do get hit, you're basically done for. So they take 10% more damage. Now what you're going to want to do 
is go to uh, teach the teach the beetle size ability to your green slime and equip them. Now I already have one in here. And also what you're going to want to do is go to the map editor and create a map. I'm going to create a new one just so you can see how it is. Go to story map. This is really easy compared to the all the geo panels you need and all the other big maps and you're supposed to arrange them a certain way. You don't need to do any of that. So what you're going to do is just click the very first one. You're going to put your slime character, the one that has beetle size. You're going to drop them just anywhere on the map is fine. Then you're going to place a base panel not far from them. It's real close. Place it. Then you're going to save the map, the map data. And after you quit, you're going to want to test the battle. You press yes. Now here's the here's the part. You're going to bring out your sage. You're going to place it right here. Or here. Because what you're going to do is surround your sage with the angels. You're going to put an angel, an angel, another angel, and you're going to put crystal. Now crystal is necessary because you remember your slime has a 75% evasion rate, but with crystal, if you put him next to your damage dealer, he has 100% accuracy, so you will not miss. So, what you do is you bring out Usalia, Us Usalia, fuck, I don't know how to actually pronounce that. You're going to magic change it into your sage for better stats. You're going to bring out your professor to magic boost your sage. Now I don't have enough mana so I have to use an item to increase the mana in order to be able to use the move. Because it requires a plus 9 magic boost requires 472,000 mana and it's at level 1. So you're going to magic boost your sage, execute you're going to throw your sage back to the front, put your sage, put your angel right behind him. Now if we check the stats, it um, it has plus 75% attack from the angels, plus 80% attack from Usalia, plus the extra attack from Crystal, and 100% accuracy. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want a plus 9 Terra Star on your slime and watch the magic happen you're gonna be doing a ton of damage to this because the slimes as they are there's they take a lot of damage from magic attacks boom 222 22 billion damage that's enough to get you the trophy one thing I did forget to mention and I do apologize is you need to buy a hundred thimbles. Why, you ask? Well, you need a hundred because you're going to make a curry. And now what this curry will do is with these thimbles here, they're going to give you 100% chance to crit. Now remember, one of the abilities that you have for the sage is called purgatory it will increase crit damage by 50% and that's what's going to put you over the top it's going to be right here as you can see the critical is at 100% you're going to need that curry to get the extra damage now this is way easier than when everybody of all the research I did this is way easier to do but um, I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy your new trophy.